Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to control and solve a Veda Times model via Veda Online. When you type in your browser vedaonline.cloud, you are directed to this page. As a guest, you can access some of the views of Veda Online and navigate the store models. And for example, you can check the input data of these models, and you can also navigate the results of pre-run scenarios. But to synchronize and solve models, you need to log in. More specifically, you need to have a VEDA online account, as well as a GitHub account with GitHub desktop installed on your machine, since all VEDA model folders need to be located in GitHub to be used under VEDA online. VEDA online supports all the key functionalities of VEDA times via internet browsers, and you can find more details and videos about VEDA and the use of GitHub for times model in this channel and in the ESA website. Once you are done with registrations and you log in into your VEDA online, you should be able to see the main page, which looks like this one, with the model stored per each user. Let's assume now that you want to select one of the branches and create your own model to experiment with VEDA online. You have to follow some simple steps. First, select the branch you're interested in, for example, this one. Then go to the corresponding GitHub area by clicking on the right top corner here. Then fork the existing repository to your own account by clicking on fork here. It will take a few seconds. Then go to code and copy the link here to clone the repository into your computer. Paste this link in the proper field under the command clone the repository here. As you can see by default, the local path in this case is C, beta, beta models, and then the name of the folder. And then you can click on clone. Now you can see and edit the model from your own computer, and you can see the exact position and content of this repository if you click on Show in Explorer here. Once the uh, previous steps are done, you need now to connect and access the model via VEDA Online. To do that, you can follow again a few simple steps. Go to View of GitHub. Uh, click on fork to select the fork model you want to control. And you see now that uh, GitHub shows that this is the model fork from the original organization to my own account. Then move to code. And again, copy this URL. And this time move to your Veda online in the main page. Click on create model and simply paste this link here. Click on get branches. And if you want, if you have more than once, you can select the branch you're interested in. For example, in this case, it's a demo. And finally, create model. Everything is completed and you can now fully control the model via VEDA online. You can synchronize it, you can browse it, you can run it. So let's see how to do that. You can go to your model. And as a first step, you can click on synchronize on the right bottom corner here. And through synchronization, which will take a few seconds, VEDA extract the content from the Excel file, the input files. And all these items, which are now gray, not imported, will be turned into light blue consistent. After the synchronization, we can then browse uh, the model. So we can check, for example, some of the techno-economic inputs 
which are uh, used to describe some technologies. Sync is in progress, just a few seconds, and sync now is finished. We can just click on these boxes to hide these messages, and we can move to the uh, view browse. For example, we may want to check the uh, investment cost of new wind turbines, so we can call for the corresponding attribute and cap cost. You see here, investment cost for new capacity. And then we can call the uh, process name, which corresponds to the new idle power, sorry, the new wind power here. And then we can click on browse. So Vera returns the uh, cost per unit of capacity for new wind power. And as you see, this value is assigned to both the regions of the model, 1,500. Um, is the cost per unit of capacity. And if you move the mouse to this cell, you see the exact position, you see the VEDA displays the exact position uh, into the input files. So this number is located into the subrest called new text, tab EC, cell I23. And after we have browsed and navigated the model, we can basically just go to the run manager, which is the view from which users can uh, design and control the uh, run and solve the model. And you see there are some predefined cases. Uh, you can select one or more than one of these cases and simply click on solve to start running this specific case. Now you see the beta displays this message cases are running. So it's in progress. It will take two, three minutes to find a solution. But in the meantime, another nice feature is that you can go to job dashboards here, where you can see uh, the previous activities for the previous days, for example. And if you click here on show log here, you can check the uh, and track the GAMS execution steps and the solver action. After the completion of the run, the results will be directly uh, loaded and brought to the VEDA component, which is called results, without any further action. Uh, so at the end, you will be ready to uh, analyze the results. Uh, you can also cancel the run if needed here. Once the case is solved, you should be able to see these messages from the job dashboard, status normal completion, and the objective function of your model. So now you're ready to navigate the results um, of this specific case study. But before doing that, you may want to make an additional run uh, by changing some uh, of the input parameter or even one parameter and compare the outcomes of these two runs. How to do that? Let's follow a few steps. Move to your GitHub desktop. Click on Show in Explorer. And select the elements you want to change. Now, we know from the previous browse that uh, the element that we want to change is, for instance, the investment cost of wind power technologies. So this specific input will stored in this file, subrest new tech. We can open this file. And we can move to the corresponding tab, ELC. And we can select the cell, which actually includes this input. And for instance, we can increase this value of a factor 1.25 here. We can save it, close the file, go to GitHub, and commit to this change. We can even describe the change here. Something like this. Click on commit to change and push origin. Once this is done, we can move back to Vera here and we can refresh. 
in this case, VEDA will spot that some differences exist between the previous uh, version and this version, in particular in this file. And this calls for a new synchronization of the model. So we can click again on synchronize here. Again, synchronization will take just a few seconds. And uh, after the synchronization, uh, we will be able to rerun the model with a different subject to a different assumption, in particular subject to the idea that, or the assumption that uh, wind turbine costs uh, more than uh, in the default case. So once the sync is done, we can again click on these boxes to close them. We can move again to the run manager and create a um, second case study, which actually inherits the entire elements of the previous one. So of this demo as 12, but this specific number that we've just changed. To create a new case, we can basically simply double it here. Name this, this case differently, for example, test one. Keep all the other assumptions. Click on save. This is now save. And this specific new case can be now run. So we can click here and solve. Once the second case is sold, you can now navigate the results in a comparative manner, which means that we can, for example, check what is the response of the um, wind energy production in the two scenarios. To do that, we can move to the results view. We can check, for example, the attribute var flow out, which actually represent the uh, outputs of the power plants in this particular case. We can call for the processes wind power, and we can click on gain data. You see that data returns uh, the information of um, the activity of these specific processes, the existing one and the new one for the two regions in the two scenarios that we have analyzed. We can manipulate and play with this table. For example, we can just get rid of this region, which means we can sum up the information at the level of the system and not uh, without any specific breakdown at the regional level. And we can also move the process column header here to see simply the total production of uh, wind energy in the two scenario by periods. And we can then check, for example, uh, this line chart so we can visualize the response of the model. And you see here, which is very, very evident, that when we um, increase the investment cost of wind turbine um, by assumption, we get as a response a significantly lower penetration of wind energy into the system. So this is a, a simple way to see how the model responds to a different assumption against a default uh, assumption. So that is all for now. Thank you for watching.